I'm Roger Sikowski from WebCater.com. In this video, I'm going to show how Map, Zip, and Lambda uh, functions can be used to create streamlined Python code. I saw Brad Montgomery's article about this topic on his blog, and he agreed to let us create this video to illustrate his examples. His blog article can be read at the address shown. Let's get started. Those who are new to Python often overlook the advantages of the zip and map functions. Equally easy to overlook are advantages Lambda can bring to the table. To illustrate how we can leverage these, let's consider a simple problem. Let's say we have two lists of values. We can use the lists A and B shown here in my editor. We need to compare them element by element, keep the largest values, and throw out the lowest. For example, we want to keep the 9 and eliminate the 3 in our resulting list. We could write a function to take care of this, of course. Um, let me go to my next example. It might look something like the one shown here. There's nothing to write home about. Uh, it's just a for loop to iterate through a list, both of them, and using the max function, uh, we extract the highest value. We populate a resulting list. Uh, let's see what the results of this when we run it might be. We can see the answer is exactly what we would expect and what we were looking for. Our new list contains all of the highest values. While this approach is straightforward, there's a much more concise way to get to the same place. That's where zip, map, and lambda come in handy. Let's look at the zip function first. I'll open my example to demonstrate. The zip function takes two equal length collections and merges them together into tuples of pairs. We can use our A and B lists again to demonstrate the idea. I'll run this example to prove the point. We get an iterable list of value pairs, but that's not what we're looking for. Uh, to get there, we're going to need to look a little further to see what Lambda expressions can offer to the mix. Lambda is a sort of shorthand manner in which we can create a function. It can take parameters and return the value of the expression. Let me open an example to demonstrate. I have it right here. In this example, x and y uh, represent the parameters for the expression. After the colon, that's where we place the expression. It'll act on those parameters. We can make a Python function out of this uh, easy enough, so we'll create my function from it. Let's run that function with arguments to satisfy the parameters declared in the statement. The result is what we'd expect. Simply print the sum of 2 and 3 to get 5. But lambda is more often used when we want to pass a function as a parameter to another function. The process is similar to what we have here, but we can just pass the lambda version without converting it manually. We'll see another example of this when we discuss the next item, the map function. That's where all the pieces will come together for us. Uh, let me bring up my example. The map function takes another function and applies it to each item in an iterable list. In this example, we derive that iterable by using the zip function that we had seen in earlier examples. It's there as our second argument. The lambda expression constitutes the first argument in the map function. It's the operation that will be applied to each pair of values generated by the zip. That operation simply extracts the maximum value of each pair. So our solution 
for our original problem can be coded in an extremely concise manner. Let's give this guy a spin. Voila, we get the same result as we did previously when we wrote a complete function to do the job. Let's compare the two uh, to see where we've come. In our first example, we have a lot of code to do a very simple task. And this is where we've come. It's minimal code to do the same job. I think you'll agree the difference is startling. This should prove that Python's map, lambda, and zip are powerful and effective tools, especially when you're trying to streamline your code. Thanks once again to Brad for the inspiration for this video. Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other great articles related to Python.